when you have a dream and the dream isn't something you dream and then it happens the dream is something you never knew was going to come into your life when you have a dream it doesn't often come at you screaming in your face dreams always come from behind you not right between your eyes it sneaks up on you sometimes a dream almost whispers always whispers it never shouts very hard to hear so you have to every day of your lives be ready to hear what whispers in your ear it very rarely shouts you got to feed your mind every day if you don't feed your mind life just starts to happen everybody always asks me et what was it like being homeless i don't remember what was it like eating out of trash cans i don't remember i ain't on that let me tell y'all the hardest part of my life the hardest part of my life was not being homeless i ain't had no dreams or no goals i didn't want nothing Eating out of trash cans wasn't the hardest thing I've ever done. The hardest thing I ever did was get my GED, go to college, study every doggone day and still fail. That's hard. That's hard. When you writing a paper for three, four weeks, you turn it in and you get, still get a 2.0. That's hard. It's hard when you're in a library and you study it and you read and you take the test and you get a 55. That's hard. So what I want you to understand about the breakthrough is that 90% is work, but the last 10% that's fight. Listen to me, you don't get a breakthrough by working. You get a breakthrough when you fight. And I had to fight. I had to stay up all night. It's not what happened that determines the quality or the quantity of your life. And the reason is because what happens happens to about everybody. No different. The sun went down on all of us last night a common event, a happening. And I found out that the same things can happen to two different people. One gets rich and one stays poor. Why is that? It's because it's not what happens, but rather it's what you do that changes everything. That it's necessary for us to begin to look at the future, no, that it's possible that we can have our dream. Yes, it is. Other people have done it, then we can do it. We fail a lot of times. Well, a lot of other folks fail, and eventually they came back and they succeeded. So it's possible we can have what we want. And we know that we want to get it. It's necessary that we align ourselves with people that think like we do. It's necessary we get negative, do-nothing people out of our lives. It's necessary we never stop learning and growing and developing ourselves. It's necessary that we never give up. We know that it's you, it's me. It's being responsible for our stuff and deciding that we're going to keep on keeping on, that we're going to find a way to win or find a way to make it happen. And we know it's hard. It's not going to be a picnic. Yes, it's hard. It's hard. And we will do it hard. And once it, we do it hard and we go through it, we realize it was worth it. And once you discover it was worth it, it is done. There is another level. The only reason you keep seeing there isn't is you feel so exhausted about where you are. But life, the universe, or God is just testing you because there is another level. If this is good, giant jump to excellence, giant from good, poor to good to excellence, there's a level where all your dreams are realized. There's a level that you've always dreamed about. It is real. It has not gone away. But it takes that extra burst when you think there's nothing left, there's no way, you've tried everything 10 million times and you keep going. It's almost like God is saying, if you keep hitting this wall enough times, I will see that you will not stop, that you are filled with that level of determination, faith and courage, and then the door opens and you get to that next level. But what most people don't know is, the next level is just two millimeters above. And it's called outstanding, ladies and gentlemen, outstanding. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Outstanding, magnificent, unstoppable, extraordinary, not excellent. It's a different level. It's a level where you are not one of the best, you are the best. And you know what's amazing? You only have to be two million years more than everybody else and you get everything. You get the joy, the laughter, the fun, the family, the passion, the economics, the freedom, the spirit. It's all there. What Jerry Maguire called the quad, baby. All of it. 
and it's just two million views above, and most excellent people give up because they're exhausted. And there's some people who go, the harder I hit it, the more I hit it, sooner or later it's going down, I'm not stopping. And when you do that enough, it pops open. See, at the end of my life, the Lord's gonna go, hey, by the way, this guy over here, this is the man you could have been. This is the person you were born to be. This would have been your dreams. This is where you would have gone, what you would have seen, who you would have helped, what you would have changed. This would have been your book. Meet him. My dream in my life is that when I meet that person, we're not total strangers. You don't want to get to the end of your life, and that character is a total stranger to you. You know damn well there's going to be a funeral for you someday. At that funeral, there's going to be a sense and a spirit of what you could have become. The woman, the man you could have become. And every day those decisions you're making to max out your life are chasing that person. See, you know what I want at the end of my life when I meet him? I want to be identical twins. Ted and Ed are going to meet each other someday, and I'm going to say, hey man, good to see you. Been chasing you, man. He's going to go, I've been watching you. You're exactly like me, man. We're identical twins. You maxed out your damn life. Congratulations. You simply look mostly to yourself. It would be nice if someone just gave you this, gave you this, gave you this. It would be nice if everyone did their job exactly as they're supposed to do it. But here's what you've got to do. Primarily rely on yourself. Primarily say, I'm the person responsible. And I will learn the necessary skills so that I can help people learn their skills. If I need lots of people to do certain things to build my organization, that is what I must have. But I've got to be the final backstop. I've got to be the final one that people can rely on. So that if this is missed and this is missed, I can catch up, I can fill the gap, I can do the job. We have to do it when we conduct meetings. We have to do it when we conduct training. We have to do it when we're in a class of just a few. What someone might have missed, we're there to fill in. Self-reliance. Primarily, we're learning to count on yourself. So that you can do this, never complain and never explain. When you have real reverence for life, when you have a deep gratitude and appreciation, I like a deep gratitude and appreciation for life, you don't hold on to a lot of yesterdays. You notice the changing fall colors now. You notice the free space that you have now. You notice the time and the choices and the opportunities available to you now. Yesterday's not such a big deal. You don't hold the baggage. And here's how you know if you're holding baggage. You know in your heart there's baggage there when you keep playing small. When you keep minimizing yourself to other people in your current situation, that's because the self showing up is the self lugging the baggage, feeling bad about themselves, letting it weigh down. When you're free and spirited in this moment, when you're truly present, free from yesterday, like when you're present right here, that authenticity, that spirit shines through. And listen, the same people who completely shut you down yesterday, when they go to shut you down today, you go, hey, that's not okay. Maybe the old you let them shut you down. The new you, today you, the old you let them shut you down because you had hurts and feelings and old stories and you labeled yourself differently and you let yourself be put in your place by somebody. Today, the place you've been put on is a fresh ground of earth. Today, the place that you've been put in is this moment. And this moment doesn't reek of yesterday. When the sun set yesterday, it set. When the sun rose this morning, it was fresh. There were new birds around your house, not old birds. They moved on too. You gotta kinda get it in your mind at some point that this day, if you have real reverence for life, you don't meet the day as you did in high school. Because if you have reverence for life, you recognize that all those struggles brought you here. That all those struggles were necessary to make a new you, a fresh you. That you gotta release some of those hurts, man. And those pains, girl. And those stories, my friends. Because they're old. And how can you possibly touch the, just touch the rim of your potential of the future? How are you going to get lift to be able to leap up there and grab it when you got 40 pounds of old stories of stupid stuff you did in high school? 
or the way they treated you when you were 10, or the way they talked to you when you were 30. Like, you're in a different place now. And you need to be in this place light on your feet. Because how many of you think, like, the truth is right now, you need to be able to adapt. I mean, the world's in chaos. You need to be light on your feet, right? Like, if you've ever taken dance classes before, when you're heavy on your feet, it's because your body moves in the old ways. The more you learn to be present in the moment, the more you get light on your feet. And all of a sudden now, when your partner turns this way, boom, you can go that way. Because you're not thinking about the way you went a hundred times ago. You're there with that person dancing. And now it's real, it's alive, and you're creating something new and unique between you. You need to do that with the moment. Like now. Like the chaos of the world and the abundance of the world and the opportunities of the world have never been intersecting the way that they are right now.